Welcome to 3BN Kids Camp for Ready, Set, Explore, where we search nature out and have fun without a doubt. I'm your host, JB Scout, and we're going to talk about eating berries in the mountains. Well, I think that's kind of cool, don't you? I do. So, have you guys had any berries in, in recently? What kind of berries have you eaten? We have some black raspberries. Black raspberries. Ooh, I love black raspberries. Oh, how about blueberries? Have you had blueberries? Okay. Um, in that fruit salad that they made us. Okay. So aren't they nice and tasty? Are they better than like candy? They are? Yeah. At my grandma's house, uh -huh. we have, um, Wild um, blackberries? L wild blackberries. Well, you know, we're going to talk about a number of these berries. Are you ready? Well, here we're going to talk about our first one is blackberries. Have you guys had blackberries before? They're so good. So when I lived in Washington State, near Seattle area, you know how the trees are so big? Well, the berries are just as big. And these are blackberries, and they are so good. I'm going to let you, why don't you try one? Here you go. Try one of these. Tell me what you think. Would you like to try one? Okay, come on. Go get one really quick. Quick, quick, quick. Quick, quick, quick. Go try one. Come on over here. Pick one up. Okay. Oh, I have to have one too. So what do you think? Is that good? So you know what I say? What I say is that when the berries are out, the bear, bears are full. Did you hear that? When the berries are out, the bears are full. Because when the berries aren't out, I, I start looking over my back to see if there's any bears. Because when the berries are, bears are hunger, hungry, when the bears are hungry, we need to make sure that um, we watch around us. But when the berries are out, oh my goodness, we can all enjoy together. Okay, ready for the next set of berries? Okay, what is this? Red raspberries, you're right. When was the last time you had a red raspberry? Yesterday. <laughs> Yesterday. Wow, okay, let's try some of this. Okay. And these are really big. It's good for the camera too, they can see this. Oh my goodness, look how big they are. Okay, hurry up, let's go get it. Go pick one, pick one, pick one, hurry up. Okay, get back, okay. Just pick one, yeah, okay, okay. Okay, ready? Mm, isn't that good? Okay, so that is really sweet, right? So one of the things when you're going down the trail is you can look for these different berries. And it's really important to make sure that you have identified that berry before you eat it, right? We talked about it. You need to know 100% sure that you are eating the berry that you're supposed to be eating, okay? And red raspberries and black raspberries, they look the same, are the same kind of berries that you can eat and it won't hurt you. Okay, what about a juniper berry? Now, I don't have the juniper berry um, in, in, uh, set that we can eat, but I'm going to show you what a juniper berry looks like. Okay. Now, this is a juniper berry. And what it is, it's on a conifer. It's on a pine tree. Okay. And the pine tree is a stone pine or a um, pinion pine that this... Um, Juniper berry is on. It's really good. Okay, so who can tell me what this berry is? What is this berry? Okay, what's that berry? Can you identify what that berry is? Now, when I grew up, my mom made us pick these 
and we had probably like 15 bushes. These are called gooseberries. They're gooseberries. Now, when, when they first come on the vine, they're green, and as they ripen, they turn a purple. And they're really sweet when they're purple, but when they're green, they're very bitter. Yes? Why do they call them gooseberries? That's a good question. I have no idea. But they're good, and you can find these on the trail too. Um, in the Northwest, you can find these. Now, here's another one in New Jersey, and both of these um, were New Jersey and Michigan and in Washington. What about this berry? What is this berry? What do you think? It's a red blueberry. Good, it was close, but no. Do you know what that is? You know what that is? What is that? Okay, yes, what do you think it is? Hold on, what do you think it is? A cranberry. A cranberry? No, this is above ground. Cranberries are in water, so this is a current. It's called a current. You wanna know what we used to do? We had so many of these plants at my house in New Jersey that we trained our Labrador how to pick these berries because we didn't want to pick them all. So we had a Labrador and she would, she would go and put her teeth on either side and go right down the stem. <laughs> and it was kind of fun because she would eat them too. Now these are really good. They're sweet and you can find these in the mountains as well. Okay, what about this one? What is this berry? What is this berry? Okay, yes. A blueberry? No, but close. Um, okay. What's a Labrador? A Labrador is, is a, a, a dog. Yep, a Labrador dog, it's a yellow lab. Okay, so this is a black currant. Okay, so this is this one, a little bit different shape, but this is the black currant of this. A little bit different, it, it grows a little bit different, but you can find these. Now, I never liked these because it had a very interesting taste to it. And I can't describe the taste, but to me it did not taste good at all. Okay, now, let's talk about this one. Someone mentioned what that is. Okay, what, what is that? Okay, what is that? That's a blueberry, right? You're right, that is a blueberry. Would you like to take a couple blueberries? Okay, take a couple blueberries, come on, really quick. Yeah, that's right, take some. Very good, take another, very good. Okay, hurry up, take some. These are really good for you. It helps your brain. Now, I can, I need all the brain power I can get. Okay, you got some? Everyone has some? Okay, good, 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 grab some. Okay, okay, you got a couple more? Okay, 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 okay. So, and I love blueberries, oh, they're so good. Now, there's another berry that looks just like this. Do you know another more, a little wilder name for this berry? What is another name for this berry? But it's a little bit different too. It's called a huckleberry. Have you ever heard of a huckleberry? Yeah, so a huckleberry um, has a little different end to, well, let me pick another one. So you see how this end is like that? It looks like a flower. See how that looks like a flower? Okay, well, the huckleberry looks a little bit different. It doesn't have as much as the flower on it, and it, it tastes a little more woody. So it grows out in Oregon and Washington and other places, but those are so good for you and the bears love them. And I'm so glad the bears love them because then they won't love us as much, right? When we're out hiking in the woods. Okay, now who can tell me what this is? Who can tell me what that is? Someone, someone say it. Where's the mic? Okay, what is it? What is it? What is it? Um, it's a type of nut. Uh, it's a type of nut, very good. 
So let me tell you, it is a pine nut. So you may find this in, in restaurants or maybe your, your mommy or daddy um, puts it in like a salad. So pine nuts, and it comes from a pine cone. Now, I don't know if it came from this pine cone, which it probably didn't, but it came, it usually grows inside and you pull it out and it's the seed. So it's really good. You wanna try that? Here, why don't you um, take a couple of those? See what you think. See what you think. Now these are very expensive because it takes a lot of work to get them out of the, the pine cone, um, but it's very good for you. Okay, ready? We all have one? Okay, good, 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 good. Just watch. Okay, so let's, let's try some. Mmm. Well, that is really good. Now, I have two. Can anyone tell me what this is? What is this? Yes. A blackberry, blackberry plant. It's a black raspberry bush. So I went hiking around the, the uh, woods around my house and I dug this up and brought it over here. And basically it looks just like a, a blackberry, but usually it's a little bit smaller, okay? And it looks a little bit like this too, um, but a little bit different construction around um, the, the seed area. Okay, the last one that I wanna show you is this one. What does this look like? What do the leaves look like? Yes. Raspberry leaves. Raspberry, okay. Maybe a little bit different. Strawberry? Strawberry, exactly. So I had Amanda pick some of these strawberries and these are wild strawberries. Now, yes. Our mom has a strawberry plant in her garden. Okay, so yeah, and strawberries are so good. But these you can find in the wild and they're grown. They grow very low to the ground. Um, and they have lots of little tiny seeds and they only get sweet towards the end of its life. But if you eat it when it just gets ripened, um, it doesn't taste like anything. And it's very seedy. So um, we genetically altered the strawberries we have now, but these are wild and they taste okay, but they're kind of small. Yes. Those grow in my yard. They grow in your yard too? Yeah, they grow a lot of places. Oh, you know what? I forgot one more thing. Do you know what this is? What is that? The, it's pine. It's a pine. Yes. So it's a certain type of pine and it's called a Colorado blue spruce. So this is the end of a Colorado blue spruce. And when you get them nice and young and it's not so prickly, you can put them in the tea or even eat them. And it has really good vitamin C and it has some good iron in it, and th th they taste pretty good. Kind of piney, huh? Isn't that funny? So make sure when you look at these berries, you identify them properly. That reminds me of a Bible verse in Hebrews 12, 2, where it says, look unto Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith. Now, you know, having Jesus make these, all these berries for us is so nice that he did that for us, isn't it? I am so grateful that he made these berries that we can enjoy together and I can't wait until we get to heaven. I wanna thank you for joining us here at Ready, Set, Explore, where we can share Jesus around the world. Goodbye, everyone. Bye.